this is not gonna be your average vlog. Whoo, man, what I'm about to say, I'm probably gonna run a whole bunch of people off. And this right here, nah, I, I'm gonna bleep those out. Yeah, I'm gonna bleep those out. But you'll know that I said it though. Mama Frank on TV again! Now, if you're wondering, what gives me the right to say any of the stuff that I'm about to say? It's because I've been this person and I don't want you to be. Oh, baby. Now, with me coming up on my 31st birthday, like I honestly feel like I need to say something to all you people out there that want to try something but are scared. Like, really, what the f are you afraid of? Like, all right, so I'm jumping right into this, and I honestly don't know why you're still sitting there waiting on somebody to like just basically make something happen for you. And if you're a Christian, you're probably sitting at home saying, well, I prayed about it, so I'm just waiting on God to drop it off for me. Like, he's gonna bless me. He's gonna drop it right in my lap. Well, sorry, but UPS and FedEx isn't gonna just drop off a blessing that you pray for, especially whenever it comes to like opportunity and success. They don't deliver that and Jesus wouldn't even deliver that if he wanted. Specifically, man, like it says in the Bible, James chapter two, verse 14 through 26. What does it profit my brethren if someone says he has faith but does not have works? I'm not reading the rest of that because it's a whole big long thing, but, and you're probably gonna debate and say, he's talking about your faith in Christ. I know that, but it applies in real, world situations you can't say that you have faith that you are good enough to do something and not actually work on it that's like saying that oh i can run a hundred meter dash in nine seconds but don't go to the track that's like saying that you can lift 500 pounds on bench press but never been to the gym can't even bench press your own body weight or do a push up for that matter. That's like, I don't know what that's like. So what are you afraid of? Are you afraid that you're gonna fail? You're probably afraid that you're gonna look stupid at trying something new that nobody ever thought that you could actually try to do. Or are you afraid that you're gonna try out for a position and get turned down for it? Like, you're afraid that you're gonna get rejected? Or are you afraid that you're gonna come in second or third place after training for years? I guess you could say you're afraid of wasting time. Or are you one of those people that's so afraid of being successful that you're stopped at actually even trying to do it? You're afraid that you're gonna be so successful that you're gonna have to leave people behind. Or you're so afraid that you're gonna be so successful that you are going to have to keep up with yourself because you're going to be that successful right well i got another fear for you the fear of nothing at all that's right if you keep this up and being so damn afraid and so damn scared at getting your ass up off the couch or taking the first step toward that goal guess what you won't have shit. You won't have anything at all. You'll be the same person that you are right now, sitting on your couch, sitting on your toilet, or wherever you are with your phone in your hand, watching my video. Well, you probably won't watch any more of my videos after this because I've pissed you off, sorry. No, seriously, the thing that actually has why I'm talking about this is because I went to church on Sunday and the pastor asked, everybody in the crowd what breaks your heart and i pondered on this all the way from the time i left church all the way to about four o'clock on monday afternoon and it hit me i hate it and it breaks my heart whenever i see somebody with major talent major like creativity extreme genetics um and extreme capabilities to where like they could do anything but too damn scared to try it out. Or they're too lazy to do it. And I figured it out that what breaks my heart is when people waste their potential. You know, there are people that would die trying to do something that they don't have any of the skill to do. But if you're one of those people that's sitting here watching this video right now and have a skill and have an ability and you know it, like, 
what are you doing? You're squandering away something that someone would like literally die to have. And for that matter, you're squandering away something that you have the opportunity to do, but somebody else isn't here anymore and they would love to have had that opportunity to do it. So with the harsh words that are coming from my mouth, and the only reason why I'm saying these things is because I've been that person too. I've been afraid to step out on my own and step out and do things that I've wanted to do for fear of what someone else was gonna say. But now, as you see, I just don't give a f I want you to take everything that you know that you have the ability to do and do it. Try it. If it doesn't work out, if you fail, guess what? That failure has turned into a learning opportunity and you know how not to do it now. So get up and do it. Like seriously, what the f All right guys, thank you again for coming back to my YouTube channel. Guys, let me know what is a fear that you have overcome. And I wanna encourage you guys to continue to be fearless taking those leaps of faith that get you closer to your goal. Keep going. Have no fear.